to raise awareness about breast cancer here on Soda City Live. And through the experience, many people, they feel lonely for those who are battling that disease. But there is a local organization that wants them to know they are not alone in this fight. It's called Lights Out for Breast Cancer. It's returning for the first time since the pandemic. There's going to be live music, yeah. empowering speakers, a fashion show, and a special moment where all of those survivors and thrivers will be able to ring the bell to celebrate the strength and the resilience of those all affected by cancer. Joining us today are the beautiful ladies behind bringing this event to Columbia, the CEO of Lights Out for Cancer, Miss Belinda Polite, and her daughter, Dr. Tiana Brown, who is an occupational therapist. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having thank you. Us. Yes, congratulations <laughs> on bringing that event back since the pandemic. I know that uh, that has, has really stopped a lot of events, mm -hmm. but now that we are somewhat in the clear now, right. it's that time because people need that support, uh, Ms. Polite, when it comes exactly. to fighting breast cancer. What was the reason that you created this event and felt like it was really needed for the community? Well, my why is I, I'm also a survivor. Congratulations. And thank you. And um, one of the things I said when, I am, when I am healed and I would make sure that I give back to other mm -hmm. people that are going through. And one of the things that I saw was um, there's a place, there's a gap where insurance doesn't cover and, but the families are still suffering and there's a, there's a need there. And so I, I was blessed to have a great village of, of people to support me and I wanted to be that for somebody else. And so we have this, I uh, built this nonprofit foundation to help those, to help those that are in between, whether it's to pay for, help them pay for an MRI, mm. or to help pay for grocery, or to send their kid to school, or just to have a moment, a spa day, you know, with everything that's going on right now, just to be a gap of social and spiritual support. It's so important. We have been interviewing breast cancer survivors and thrivers on WIS throughout the entire month, and that's what so many people say they need is that support. Mm -hmm. Even the caregivers as mm -hmm. well, they need that support. So this is the event to be at. Yes. Dr. Brown as an occupational therapist, yes. and of course as the daughter <laughs> of the organizer of this. Tell us about your role in and, and what you offer from that standpoint of a doctor. Yes, so as a doctor of occupational therapist and a uh, certified lymphedema therapist, I bring in mm -hmm. the education part. Uh, so making that connection between not just the social but the medical and education part of the, the patients and the families. Yeah. So um, not just talking about breast cancer itself, but the side effects, the changes, the um, how it makes you feel just different off. Um, um, how it changes your appearance, how that affects your mental health, all of those things. And um, the, the part that I'm really excited about is not just the celebration of the fashion, uh, the celebration of the fashion show with mm -hmm. uh, the breast cancer survivors and the, the members uh, who, um, who they survived the members, um, but to the education part of it, that we actually have an educational panel that we get to walk through the journey of mm -hmm. a breast cancer person. So we go from the, um, the, the, breast can, the breast cancer researcher, not just breast cancer, but cancer researcher with the doc, Dr. Tisha Felder. We have an oncologist here uh, in town uh, just to talk about the, the roads and the different roadblocks that you will experience. We even have a pharmacist to talk about the side effects and things like that. And then wow. me coming in as a lymphedema specialist, I will talk about the um, effect of the swelling that you may experience after radiation, after chemotherapy, after the surgery that you may have, um, and just to talk about what are the options for you after. Breaking so. it all down, you know what I love about this event and that mm -hmm. the fact that all of those resources are there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes where you are alone in the room with the doctor, you may not know yes. what to ask. Right. But yes. when you have other people that are experiencing the same mm -hmm. thing that you are experiencing, you start mm -hmm. talking to them, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. those questions just start popping up right. and those yes. resources are right there in front of you. Yes. Right. When someone comes to the Lights Out event, uh, what should they expect? Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. music yes. and food, yes. but uh, a celebration of survivors, not only for the survivors, but also their family members, mm -hmm. that we encourage them, cheerleaders, yes. encouragers, yes. Um, therapy, yes. and it's uh, dancing. Yes. Um, it's just, we're going to have a good time. It's, we, you have so many moments where 
or in radiation or going through treatments, but we want this moment to be a moment of celebration. We want you to remember that. Very yes. uplifting. Yes. That's yes. so important. Yes. That's yes. so important. Yes. And uh, this is going to be tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. $45 tickets. We want to make sure that everyone is out there. And I like yes. lights out because it's like yes. you're punching out That's breast right. Right. cancer, knocking right. it out. I That's love right. that. It's such a good theme. Yes. And uh, this is going to be at the Brit Event Center. Y'all know where it's at, right there on Clemson Road. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow mm -hmm. from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets right. only $45. Yes. If you are unable to make it, maybe you should purchase a ticket for someone mm -hmm. who you know know that really needs that encouragement. So yes. ladies, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. You. We truly appreciate it and we look forward to you having this event many more years to come. Thank and you so thank much you. For having us. Each time we'd love to have you here on Soda City Live to tell us about it.